What's going on, everyone? Juice Bags here, and welcome to a special Wednesday edition of Tower Defense Tuesday. I am uh, lagging a little bit behind with the events of the past weekend, and this is one that I have been just itching to check out for a while. This is No Creeps Were Harmed TD. This is a fully voiced over uh, with a complete story and also endless mode tower defense game with some crazy twists to it. Uh, gravity is no object as the maps will twist, turn, go upside down, be completely enclosed. Uh, so much so that you actually see there's a uh, little tutorial here on just the camera controls alone. Now, for anyone that is interested in checking this game out, I will say that the TLDW of all of the camera control tutorials are basically treat it as you're moving the world inside and not the camera itself. This one launched into Steam Early Access on August 18th, 2023. It's got positive reviews and it is from MinMax Games LTD. The full retail price of the game is $19.99. However, it is on a 10% discount for a couple more days where you can pick it up for $17.99. Now, I gotta say, I like, like I said, I like what I see on this one. It is very, very confusing getting the camera stuff figured out, but once you do, oh man, it is some good stuff. Now, the name of the game, No Creeps Were Harmed, Tower Defense, uh, the whole theme of this ties into the story itself. Uh, in the story of the game, you're working for a large corporation, uh, not um, necessarily voluntarily working for this large corporation, and they are convinced that no enemies are being harmed as they mine out the resources from each individual map. Now, of course, it's your job to protect these miners, so let's just jump on in and take a peek at a map. Uh, the next map up we have here is Half Pipe. Uh, we take a look at this one. Now, this one is very, very mild, y'all. It is not even remotely um, as complex as some of the other maps. I'll uh, yoink a couple of um, screenshots or video, video clips from the camera movement tour tutorial. Uh, this one, of course, is just the second map, and it is very, very basic. Um, prototypical was the first map. Uh, these are the map lists right here. Uh, so this is only map number two, so it's definitely considered one of the easier ones. Now, the game does feature mazing, which for me personally is an aspect of tower defense that I absolutely love. Um, and let's just jump right on in and get a match started here. So here we see our miner is being deployed. Uh, this is what we need to protect. How did I get here? I was just... Oh, I think I'm gonna chuck. Brian Jar is us. Uh, we are a brain and eyeballs in a little jar. Legs have been removed and nothing but confusion abounds. Operators may experience discomfort and existential terror upon matter reconstruction. Uh, Max Capacitor here is our employer. And here are the baddies. Oh, hell, not again. Look, can we talk this out? Do you understand the words coming out of my whatever? Okay, you're pissed. Totally understandable. Look, if we can't work this out, I'm gonna have to defend myself the only way I know how. Push a button. Time to push some buttons. So yeah, as I mentioned, the game is fully voiced. So, um, you know, you've got that full story mode experience. We see we've got two spawners here. Uh, we've got one core to protect here. And um, yeah, let's jump on in and check this out. Now, if I can get these... Uh, cameras the camera controls working to my advantage as i mentioned um it is uh it takes a little figuring out it's not like your conventional asymmetric view game uh with camera controls that are uh basic 
you know, forward, back, left, right, down, up. It's got the full enchilada. Uh, this map, of course, is not as bad. Uh, however, some maps, you are going to have to um, really get inside of the map, under the map, etc. To be able to see exactly what all is going on. But this one, I think the obvious go-to is going to be to path enemies over to one lane here to get things started. Um, we do have towers. We've got currently a blaster, a wall, artillery, and a splatter gun. Uh, as we level our character up, we will unlock new towers. Additionally, we will unlock new abilities. Abilities are going to be used from this power resource. Um, as you see, I'm starting off with zero. And then you will earn various artifacts that you can equip to modify your defenses. So let's see. If we placed a wall, say, right here, that's going to move all these enemies over into one path. Now, I got this lovely little amazing area here. Uh, the, the tiles that are uh, with the lines going through them are incomplete tiles. So you can build those uh, back up. But let's just go, it's actually 25 to finish them up. Actually, are we even going to have enough to finish it uh, right at the start? Let's, um, let's just start pathing enemies over this way, kind of see what we get. Uh, that actually blocks the path, it's saying. Oh, because this is not open yet. Okay, so I'm going to have to repair these. I do start off with 845 credits, so... Um, I can probably actually repair these up. Let's get uh, a few of these repaired at least just to open the path up. And then now we should be able to build right here. Let's start off with a kind of a shoddy here. Um, we'll go with a blaster as well. Uh, coming up here, we actually got a really nice, uh, nice amazing area over here as well. Now you notice when you hit your middle mouse button, you get this anchor point in the middle. And as I mentioned, it's better to look at it as you are turning the map and not actually turning your camera. Uh, it's something that's mentioned several times in the tutorial. And I gotta say, I agree a thousand percent. Uh, without a doubt, it is, uh, all about moving the map around. Now, we still got 420 left. We want to... Let's uh, finish a few more of these scaffold pieces here. Just so we can create a little bit of a mess here. Uh, a little back and forth. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on now? Oh, they're coming over this way. So we're going to want to put another wall there. We do want to force everything over to this lane. One thing that's interesting, though. Hmm. I could actually use this area and go down and back. Uh, this being the second map, I don't think it's going to require any excessive amounts of mazing. But uh, let's see what we can do anyway. Uh, let's see. There's little Brian cruising around. Now, Brian uh, will shoot as well. He's not just your builder. Uh, he will run around and fire, so you can position him throughout the map. Let's just go ahead and complete that out. I mean, this may end up just being a face roll here, but let's see if this is going to get us through the very first wave. Uh, let's check it out here. Now, if you look down below, you do see the uh, wave counters and the waves coming. Uh, there is an objective to clear. Uh, let's move Brian, say, over to this point. Uh, there is an objective to clear, and then additionally, um, it will go into endless mode. Endless mode will be available after you clear your main objective. Uh, you see Brian is putting in work. Um, actually, he's doing everything for the first wave, which is kind of nice. Uh, we got no breaks, but you can pause. So if you need to pause to build or whatever, it is available to you. Uh, however, the waves will just keep coming. Additionally, you can rush waves uh, for an increased reward if you want to speed things up a little bit. And then, of course, you got the regular map controls. Now, you see here it's showing creeps 42 of 200. If it gets to a point where there are 200 creeps on the map at one time, then the enemies will evolve. So you want to make sure you're killing them and keeping them below that 200. So there's a lot of aspects to the game that are just pretty awesome. Uh, the upgrade paths are pretty straightforward. Uh, health, damage, number of projectiles, fire rate, the range. 
Uh, let's go ahead and pop a couple of upgrades in on this bad boy. Let's go ahead and take uh, projectiles. And then uh, maybe we'll go damage and fire rate as well. And you can keep stacking those up. But of course the upgrades do get more and more expensive. Junk can be destroyed to make room. Hmm, how does that work? Oh, you can destroy them with your towers. I see. That's kind of cool. Uh, Brian is just wrecking it here, though, and our shoddy is getting some getting some action in. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and upgrade the damage. Um, once you take one upgrade path, of course, more upgrade paths will... Um, or all the upgrade paths, price will go up. So you can choose whatever upgrades you want. It's a flat amount for each upgrade. Uh, get it, Brian. Get it. You can also zoom in really close. The amount of detail in the enemies and everything and the, um, you know, the carnage that ensues as things blow up is pretty impressive. And you can zoom all the way in and take a look at that. You can look at all the detail on the baddies and or all, all the towers, etc. It uh, looks like they're starting to push through a little bit more, so let's go ahead and get this built out a touch more. Um, you know what? Let's drop an artillery in. Let's drop it right here. The artillery, of course, is large. It's going to be um, AOEing in a big area there. Let's uh, just continue to maze this out. Um, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to want to do over here. That in do you is more towers the answer? Let's try out one of the abilities. You see, it's a little bit of a time before the shot lands, but then it just wastes everything in that area. So it is extremely powerful, uh, no doubt. Uh, looks like our artillery is getting it done. Let's give that a little bit more range. You know, let's go with a little more fire rate as well. Um, let's see, let's go damage on that one. We got a new uh, creep discovered here. And you see the waves are ticking along on our counter down here below. We see we've got up to wave 15 now. Um, I'm not sure how many waves this particular map is, but it will show you down below um, on that wave counter as the enemies are coming in and it will move um, over to saying endless. So it appears... Yeah, this one is probably going to be 20 waves, maybe. Uh, we'll check it out here. So we do have junk here. So we can change that to targetable, and now my turret will destroy it, and that cleared up some room there. Um, I wonder how far the range is on these. Let's destroy all this stuff here. Oh, no, we got some baddies making it in. How do we want to do this? Let's get a blaster down. Uh, say right there, it's just absolute last resort. It's not going to be down quick enough. Sadly. Oof. Big oofs. All right, let's get back over here and focus on what's going on. We're going to need to uh, get some clearing going here. Our right, genocide strike just popped off that time. Let's see. Let's go with more blasters. Actually, I probably should go with more upgrades, huh? Let's, see, let's upgrade damage and fire rate. We'll go uh, damage. The cloak detector, I don't think I have cloaked enemies yet, but just in case, we'll throw that down. Uh, and we'll get a fire rate. Let's just get a bunch of upgrades in on this stuff. We'll get a little more range on that one as well. Actually, range would be an incredible upgrade on several of these that are back down the way a little bit. How are we coming here now? We're on wave 14. So we are tinking along here. Little Brian is getting it. Our uh, towers are all getting it. I feel like I need to move some stuff uh, around. Okay, so we have nothing in range down here to kill that. Let's see. More baddies up here, huh? The camera controls are indeed a little uh, something to get used to for sure. What we can do is put... Uh, let's just go with a blaster here. 
Hopefully we're not going to lose here. Ooh, we got a ground pounder unlocked. We put a blaster here. That's going to force the enemies around. And then we can put another one, say, here to block that path. And then it's at least going to force them all back around that uh, other area. And you see that is in uh, inside of the range of these other towers. So I'm not feeling very good about it, though. Stuff is just not dying quick enough. And you see our, um, our core health is just going down. We're... It shows the enemies in a distance. That's how far away enemies are from your your objective. And it looks like this one's going to be GG's. Uh, straight up face rolled. So definitely need to go into the mazing more. I didn't really do much mazing, which there's just an amazing amount of opportunity. An amazing amount of opportunity for mazing on this particular map. But it is looking quite bad, I think. I believe it is. Upgrade Driller Health. Oh, okay. What can we do there? I didn't realize we could upgrade it. It actually still has some health. Good stuff. Upgrade the health and the armor. Let's get uh, a, a few upgrades on this as well. Get another upgrade into damage and fire rate. Let's see if we can't just really blast some stuff over here. We need to stop the bleeding, so to speak. Oh, and here we go. Uh, the goal is wave 18. So our goal is just one more wave. And then you see down on the wave count on the bottom, it goes into endless mode. So you can uh, continue to play it in endless mode if you choose to. And uh, that's always a good time. Uh, this was just a complete uh, fail here, sadly. We can't get another upgrade on here. Get something over here. To get a little bit more damage hopefully we can clear these guys out uh like i said this one was a big old amazing fail here for sure oh man six seconds we're gonna take out a lot of enemies with that but just not enough to get the job done we're almost there too it looks like in these early levels anyway the amount of health you have versus damage you take is pretty forgiving which i mean this is only the second map so that could lead to um you know learning the game principles a little bit more but yeah huge opportunity for amazing on this map um massive area up here uh massive area down here and i just didn't take advantage of all of it so we were just getting beat down beat down uh if this wave if I can survive this wave, which it's not looking good, as there is a massive stream of enemies here. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can't do something to try to salvage this just a little bit. Get as many upgrades as we can. All right, we actually somehow made it through because that was seriously ugly. Um, now, as I mentioned throughout, the entire campaign is fully voiced over, which is pretty darn cool um, and pretty rare in a tower defense game like this one. So definitely pretty stoked about that. Brian and the corporate overlords. Uh, lots of errors going on in the operator's manual that they continually like to uh, refer to is a non-existent thing. And then, of course, if you're not into that, you can always turn it on and off and just skip through it if you're just looking for the tower defense. So there is that option as well to turn the story audio off and just blast through and play the actual strategy element. Uh, but there you go. We earned some experience. Uh, let's go ahead and finish this map. And then you see we get a reward. Um... We can equip three artifacts at a time, or we can just take, like, raw experience. What do we have? Uh, a multi-shot for the blaster. Oh, here we go. That's an upgrade for Brian himself. Let's go ahead and take that one. And then it puts us out and gives us the option to run through the next map. So there's quite a few maps uh, here. And as I mentioned earlier, the maps get crazy crazy complex um and super fun to look at you know i mean just the theory crafting alone is through the roof in this one and it's just all about 
learning those camera controls. Uh, that is just for sure. This map looks pretty darn cool here. I think I want to try this one out. Uh, but that will do it for now. Like I said, a little Wednesday edition of Tower Defense Tuesday. Uh, links to the game are down in the description below. This is definitely going to be a good one. I think everyone should take a peek at it and check it out. There's also a free demo you can play. Uh, that, of course, is right on their Steam page. So if you just want to dive in and kind of tinker around a little bit and not actually buy the game until you're sure, uh, there is that free demo to download. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.